what subjects are taught in the dart course well there are a number of sub subjects they're taught and, and incidentally as you know uh, this course is provided for all of the departments within Los Angeles County in addition to our own and the purpose of the program is to provide a uniform and standardized program of operation for all of law enforcement in the event of uh, disaster or riot control mm -hmm. and we teach studies such as uh, the theory of insurgency we teach the socio and the economic aspects of uh, civil disorders uh, we teach uh, the use of firearms and uh, uh, also uh, emphasize the, the limitation of the use of firearms or deadly force and related subjects and of course uh, this is a somewhat new subject that we have learned primarily from our experience in the control of riots and disorders. What defects in training have been discovered so far and how have they been corrected? Well, the defects in the training that we discovered in the past was the fact that there was a, a lack of uniformity among law enforcement people. That when one group of uh, law enforcement officers uh, were, f were thrown in with another group, there was a lack of uh, uniformity uh, of, of conduct uh, based on a lack of, uh, of uh, training. And that's the primary defect. And then again, uh, riots and disasters are of such recent occurrence in our uh, entire nation, <coughs> nation in our community that we have learned something new from virtually every disturbance that we participate in. In its report of the events occurring in Chicago in August of 1968, the Kerner Commission said that the police didn't act as a control force in handling crowds, but instead were drawn into the riot as participants. Now, in what way will this course, or does this course, ensure that the same thing would not occur? Well, of course, I can't say that I agreed with all the facets of the Kerner report, but uh, to answer your specific question, in the course of this training, you see, it teaches our people uh, a, a great degree of restraint as well as the manner in which they should exercise their uh, jurisdiction. Uh, unfortunately, too many times there has been, not too many times, but on many occasions, there, have been, there has been an overreaction on the part of officers, again, because uh, when riots occur, uh, there's a spontaneous action on the part of the, those who are participating in the riot, and then there is a likewise a, a, a spontaneous reaction by our people. Uh, we have field problems. We simulate actual riot conditions as much as is possible. And then this gives our personnel, the police personnel, an opportunity to practice this so that when they're faced with such a situation, uh, the chances are that they'll react more properly.